Okay, in this video we will go over integrating payments and we use Puddle uh, to, for our subscription based things so this is where all the subscription are uh, handled when you have your SAS React App Builder why we choose this is because all of these things that they have which is the checkout, the good checkout, the trials and licensing the taxes, the subscriptions, the promotion, the coupons anti-fraud and the invoicing and all, all those things that you should care about are handled by them so you just focus on your business I think they charge around 5% so pretty much it's okay for to start directly and see how it will go um, first thing we need to do is to create a puddle account and a subscription plans to do that, first we need to have an idea what kind of plans we will offer to our customers. So let's say I will have a starter plan. I will have for 10 apps, uh, and this will be $10. I will have a pro plan for 15 apps and $15. $15, and then I will have the rocket plan for 20. Let's say dollars for. Uh, twenty dollars okay and uh, let's go back to paddle so this is the dashboard you can click here to make a subscription or you can do the same here by clicking on the subscriptions and if you go to plans you will see all your current plans I have created already the two ones I need the starter one just to see how uh, the process of creating the plans. So I will name starter. I will want a monthly charge of ten dollars, and that's all I have to do. I just click on save plan, and I'm getting um, a checkout link for it. When I click on it, I can get the checkout product ID. So I'll need to copy and put here in my list of plans, just as a reference, nothing more. Then I. Okay, get the second one and then the third one. So I have all my plans IDs. All I need now is the, to go in vendor settings and get the vendor ID that I have. This is in account settings, I believe, or checkout settings. Let's see the documentation. We need to go to vendor settings, integrations, integrations, and here is my vendor ID. So we'll copy that and I'll put it here. Then the next thing to do is to make the webhooks. What is webhook? We need to know when our when some of our clients has paid, uh, and then to allow an access for him. Uh, so we need to update our Firebase database to know that this user has been uh, paid or he cancelled the subscription and to do that we have created uh, cloud functions and you have already uploaded them and to get a uh, function link you can need to go in your project then click on functions and here all your uh, Fire, uh, Firebase functions will be displayed what we will need is the Puddle integration and you need to copy this link or we'll copy it and you need to go in uh, vendor settings in alerts so this will alert our database that uh, client has paid so we need to say uh, what alert we will need but also it's good to have a, an email when somebody pays so I want an email on cont uh, contact at reactupbuilder.com when somebody pays subscription created subscription payment success so I know I want to know when somebody has paid uh, and when somebody cancelled the subscription so that's the two things that I need on email and I need all the uh, webhooks alerts regarding subscriptions so all of them you can also add these ones too but for now they are okay so now I'm click on save changes and that's all the things that should be done in this step 
we have created our subscription plans I have a take a note of them then I created I connected to the Firebase function here and it's good to see the the view logs of this function when your server when your paddle integration will be run when you will have customers just to see if everything goes well and if some problem occurs you can report by sending us the log and you can see your change has been saved we have an alert and all those specific alerts types thanks for watching this video hope this will uh, make the thing easier when you create your sas reactor builder thanks for watching